Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today I have this super OP FE flood script that I made. I've been working on it for almost uh, a week now, and yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open Google, and we're going to be going to any Roblox game. This, this works with, so if you want the script, go to my Discord server, and go to the script option, and you're going to see right over here, uh, FE my script uh yeah so we can test it out on uh, this only this like works for simple games simple game i have a game right here that's really simple um role play game only so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna be using skater even though this works for exploits like this works for like tons of games that have Tyrion, and if you don't know what Tyrion are, uh, I'm just gonna explain that in a second. So, uh, it's gonna support Vortex soon. Right now, it only supports. Holy shit! All right, screw this game. I'm gonna be playing something simple, and yeah. And first, I suggest you test it on a simple game, then you go. And I have tested this with Jailbreak, but sadly, it doesn't work. Uh, the reason why, so why, the reason why some of them don't work is that because they have like an anti cheat at terrain. So yeah. So this is the best exploit because it immediately injects faster than we are devs. So here's a load string. You can type it easily. I'll leave a link in the description for it, and I'm gonna click on execute. And as you can see here, we got the Speedster Devs FE Flood Script. Now, right now, if it is detecting my exploit, and then if it detects some random ex uh, unknown exploit, it's automatically gonna not exit. It's not gonna execute. So if it's FE, it's gonna say this game is FE, now you can flood the game. But if it's not FE, it's basically gonna say the game is not FE, try to tr considering using another script. So if the game is not FE, it's only going to be visible to you if the game is FE and it's going to work. So you can see here we already got a flood here. That's perfect. And uh, ratings are uh, 6 six out of 10. So yeah. What we're going to do here is we click an F9 in the console. It says speedster devs flood GUI v.2. Since I'm in my own game, I can actually flood it. So you click an unflood. Um... This actually removes the water, I think. So we just do it, attempting to remove flooding map. It attempts to do it. It just fails. It's not, it's not, it doesn't actually function. So let's click and flood the map. And right now we're about to flood the map, guys. OMG. Oh my God, this is epic. This is really epic. So other people can actually see you swimming. So if you're like swimming, other people are gonna be like, what the hell? So I, I'm gonna try to remove it, but it just won't work. Even though it has a script, uh, yeah. If I go in game dot workspace dot terrain, it cannot destroy terrain. As you can see, uh, game dot workspace dot terrain equals maybe break joints should work. Obviously, it doesn't function just uh makes it worse i mean it doesn't make it worse but yeah it's really cool you can just spam flood map don't spam it you're gonna obviously crash it's really cool so and the uh, you can see here this is uh um where is it speech does flood v.2 and v.3 we're gonna have a better design and not this annoying thing and you're gonna have like custom settings like the water speed how fast you want like the water to go and stuff so yeah, this is FE, and yeah, we're we're gonna test this out in another game. Let's test it out in a no, a game called Phantom Forces, as it is tested. Oh no. Uh, will this work on Arsenal? Um, I'm um, no, it doesn't work for Arsenal at all. Arsenal, no, because Arsenal has no terrain at all. They just use parts, but as you know, Phantom Forces have terrain. Like, yeah, yeah. Alright, give me a second, the volume. 
The creator just is Canadian, I think. Okay, so we're gonna be clicking inject and then we're gonna execute this. And it execute and it injects really fast. Speaster executes really fast, sorry. And now right now it's finalizing the game. Sometimes it finalizes the game. Like what game are you playing? If it if it's like an unknown game, it just won't execute. For example, like jailbreak, I actually tested this on an L. I got banned for it. Detected got banned for adding terrain. Because it's actually FE. If the if the script wasn't FE, if the script was not FE, it will it will it will not kick me because it's only visible to me. But if it's FE, that means you're basically showing it to other players. But as you can see here, it gets really laggy at times. So let's just click the flood map. Let's flood the Oh I wanted to see it. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, Alright, the map should be on flood. Right now it doesn't have a terrain, but oh wait, wait, wait. This, is this th is this it? Oh, is this actually it? I have no idea. Is this actually it? Oh, I found it. This is the t this is the water. This is the water that appeared here. So the water comes down from where the base plate was. So basically, when like you you need like make a new game. But yeah, guys, it's really cool and it's obfuscated because I don't really want people to using it. But uh, Speaster Death Flood GYV.3 is coming soon with properties, maybe some other custom commands. Basically, it's like a flood hub. Flood hub. Oh, that's a nice name. Uh, yeah, but thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, yeah. Over time, it does get laggy, though. And you will crash? No. And, yeah. So, I'm gonna make it way better. And, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm running on 6 FPS, but, yeah, guys, this is a really OP thing, and you can use this to, like, in your Roblox Studio game, maybe a natural disaster survival game. If you do not, if you do know how to remove terrain, this is perfect for you, but, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, bye for today.